Hello friends, welcome to my channel Marcel Parag Jambulkar. In this video, we will see how to decorate function with at wire decorator. So see, in previous video, we have seen syntax of at wire decorator, right? So see, we have seen this is at wire decorator. In round bracket, we are providing adapter ID and adapter configuration. And here, here we have said it can be property or function. Right, it can be property or function. So, see in previous videos, we have used property, right? But instead of property, we can also use function, right? So, in this video, we will see how to use function, how we can decorate this function with wire decorator. And see, remaining code is same. So, see, we have to import adapter ID from adapter module, right? As we are using this function instead of property, there are some changes in the code. Okay. So, it will be very clear when we will take one example. So, see, I have opened Visual Studio Code. Here, we will create one component, create lighting web component. We will give some name, something like this. We will keep default directory. Okay. So, see, we got these three files, right? .html, .javascript and meta.xml file. Okay. So, see, in HTML file, here we will add lightning card, right? We will give one title is equal to example decorate function with wire decorator like this, right? We have to decorate function with wire decorator. Now see what we will do. We will call to getter property. So, see for name, we will call getter property get name like this. And for phone, we will call getter property get phone like this. Right? Okay. So, see we are printing name and phone. And for name, we will call getter property get name. And for phone, we will call getter property get phone. We will define this getter property in JavaScript file. Okay. So, see, I have saved this code in JavaScript file. So, see, in this curly bracket, we will write code. Now, see, at wire, here we have round brackets. And see, in previous examples, we have seen like this, right? So, see. Here we are using property, right? Here we have to provide adapter ID and configuration, and this is our decorator, right? So whenever we are using adapter decorator, so we have to import it like this, right? Then here we will use adapter ID. So see, get record, okay? So we have to import get record, right? So see, here I am clicking, okay? So by this, this statement is added here, right? We are importing get record from this. Okay. Now see here we have to provide configuration. So see record ID colon in single code. Here we will write dollar record ID like this, right? And see comma fills colon and here we will write account dot name comma in single quote account dot phone like this right so see what we are doing here get record this is adapter id and that we have imported from this model right then record id so we are passing this value so see what we have to do here we have to define one property with at api decorator so see record id so already in previous video we have seen whenever we are using at api decorator so this property becomes public property right now see in this case this record id will have id of record right okay we have to import this api so see here we will write we have to import api right okay now see here get record is adapter id here we are providing configuration right now see record id colon in single code record id comma fields and that we are passing which fields we want so see 
this account dot name should be in single quote like this account dot name and account dot phone right and this accounts will take to next line like this so in previous videos we have seen this is property and for this property we have used wire decorator and this configuration this configuration and this adapter id that we have used now see here instead of this property now we will use function so see here we will use wire account something like this so some name we are giving as it is function it will have these round brackets in curly bracket we have to write body for this function right now see this function accepts two values so see data and error like this right now see what we have to do for this function we have to create one variable and for that variable we have to assign these values data and error so see what we are doing here so see we will have one variable or property with the name accounts right so we have to define it right so see here we will add add track accounts like this so see accounts this new property we have added here and we have decorated it with add track decorator right so see here we will add track like this so see we want to access this account set right? so that's why here we have to write this dot accounts is equal to data like this and see this dot error is equal to undefined now see what is the meaning of this if there is some data so see in this case we have to assign these values right like this so see if there is data this accounts right this accounts will assign this data to this accounts so see if there is data that means there is no error right so that's why error should be undefined so see here we have used one more variable one more property error so that also we will define so here we will add attract error now see why here we are using decorator attract because we want to make accounts and error as reactive properties okay like this right now see if there is no data so see else if and instead of data suppose there is error okay so see this dot accounts it will be undefined right and this dot error will be error right so see this data is this data right this data here we are assigning and this error this error we are assigning to this error variable and this dot error means this right so like this we have assigned value so for this function we have two properties right we have two properties accounts and error right so for this function we are using two properties accounts and error so see when we are using property here so that property also has two more properties data and error right as here we are using function so for this function we have to use two more properties and for this accounts and error we have assigned data and error right okay so we have allocated values now see we will define getter property that we have used in html code right okay so see get get name like this and another getter property get phone like this right now see this should return name right this should return name so see how we will write this dot account right dot fields dot name dot value right so see accounts variable so this accounts variable means this accounts variable right this accounts variable right what are the accounts variable that we have initialized here from this accounts variable we have to print name value right so fields dot name dot value right okay so in the same way we will return phone here return this dot accounts dot fields dot phone dot value like this. so see again same from the accounts variable fields 
from there we are accessing phone and for phone we are accessing values right okay so we are saving it now see whenever we are returning value like this we have to make sure this account is not blank so see what we have to do in html file we will check whether this accounts property has a data or not so see how we can check so see for that we will use template tag like this so closing tag here we will mention like this now see here we will write if colon true is equal to here in curly brackets we will mention accounts right same accounts variable here we have used so html code we have written javascript code also we have written now see in meta.xml file here we have to make it true so that we can use this component as a standalone component now see targets we will add like this now see we want to deploy this component on record page so see here we will add lightning underscore underscore record page okay so see all three files we have updated right now see we will deploy it deploy source to org it has deployed successfully okay now see from the app launcher we will search one app suppose we are going to sales app now we will click on this accounts tab we will go to one record okay now see we will click on this gear icon edit page so here you can see this is our component right wire example 10 so see we will drag and drop like this okay now we will click on save we will click on back button so here you can see name and phone so see from the get name getter property we got name and from get phone getter property we got phone number right so see we got these values for this record right now see if we take another record so see we got different values right name and phone as this is a reactive wire service we are getting different values as per the record id so in this way we can decorate any function with at wire decorator so for this function we require two properties right so see in this example we have taken accounts and another we have taken error right so instead of accounts you can take any variable and we have allocated data to these accounts and error to this error right here you can see and if there is data so data to accounts and undefined to error and when there is error so see for accounts undefined and for error is equal to error right so in this way we can decorate any function with at wire decorator so friends i hope you like this video if it is then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you